In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Friends, I want to welcome you to this uh, second annual Rosary Rally. And as we prepare now to uh, begin uh, the month of October, uh, dedicated to Our Lady, uh, I would invite you, urge you, to, uh, to be sure that the praying of the Rosary is something you do every day during that month and hopefully beyond. We need our Blessed Mother's intercession and protection so much these days. So I count on you and, and many others uh, to, to take up her rosary daily uh, and offer it for the church of which she is the mother. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come together today to honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, our mother and mother of the church, her Son, Jesus, divine mercy, we ask that you send down your Holy Spirit upon our gathering, that we may be once more baptized with his grace and power to become witnesses of the gospel and compassionate ministers of his mercy. Fill us with every heavenly grace so that we may manifest to the world the fruits of the Holy Spirit in our lives, love, joy, peace, patient endurance, gentleness, kindness, and faithfulness. Bring healing to our brokenness, forgiveness to our failures, strength in our weakness and blessing to our lives. Draw our families to the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, where we will find a safe refuge in every heavenly blessing. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again, and ascended into heaven. He sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead.
the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved soul. your 
the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. I'd like to offer four brief points for our reflection this afternoon. Mary, Mother of Mercy. Mary, Shrine of Mercy. Mary, Apostle of Mercy. And Mary, a Merciful Intercessor. First of all, then, Mary, Mother of Mercy. A couple of years ago, a woman I know, who I consider to be saintly, she has 
11 children. Her oldest child is a priest. She has another son who's in the seminary and others coming up behind who knows how many vocations there will be. But this woman gave me a book and the book is called In Sinu Jesu, In the Bosom of Jesus. Since 2007, our Lord and Our Lady have been speaking to a Benedictine monk in Ireland. The book, In Sinu Jesu, is simply his diary recording these locutions. And so I'd like to share one of these that occurred on December 11th, 2007. It is Our Lady speaking. And she says, I am with you tonight. I am present to you, and I hear the prayers you address to me. I will open my hands full of graces and blessings over the souls whom you recommend to me. I am ever willing to come quickly to the aid of my poor children. I am ever ready to help them, to lift them when they fall, to bind up their wounds, and even to intervene in such a way as to repair the effects of their wrongdoing. And so we can see that Our Lady, the Mother of Mercy, is prompt when it comes to coming to the aid of her children. She sometimes invoked under that title, Our Lady of Prompt Secur, that quick help that she gives to us. And she says to this Benedictine monk that she's ready to lift, to bind, and to intervene. Are these not words that remind us of our Lord's parable of the Good Samaritan who went and who bound up those wounds, lifted the fellow up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and took care of all his needs. Our Lady will take care of all our needs because she is the mediatrix of all graces. And so her mercy extends to all of our needs. In the Memorare prayer, we invoke her and tell her that we are sinful and sorrowful we bear the scars of our wounds from sin and the sorrows that come with that. And she is prompt and she can take care of anything as a good mother always does. Mary goes on to say, I am not distant. I hear every prayer addressed to me. My maternal heart is moved to pity when my children, especially my priest sons, have recourse to me in their needs. I am the mother of mercy, Mater Misericordiae, honored by the church and her chant to me. I do turn towards you, my eyes of mercy, and I am ever willing to help poor sinners. Let sinners come to me. I will never turn them away. Let them appeal to my sorrowful and immaculate heart. They will never be disappointed. And so we see that Our Lady, the Mother of Mercy, is not distant, but she is always close to us, especially when we know it the least. There she is. As she said to St. Juan Diego, am I not here, I who am your mother? She delights in being called the Mother of Mercy especially when we sing that beautiful chant, the Salve Regina. And Our Lady, the Mother of Mercy, turns her eyes of mercy towards us. We've all seen children clamoring, crying for that moment. What moment? The moment the eyes of her mother meet the eyes of a child. This is the moment of mercy this is Our Lady's moment. This theme of Our Lady, the Mother of Mercy, appears in so many of her words to the saints. Let's just look at two saints, Saint Faustina 
surprised that I would bring that up, and St. Bridget of Sweden. St. Faustina writes in her diary, once the confessor told me to pray for his intention, and I began a novena to the Mother of God. This novena consisted in the prayer, Hail Holy Queen, recited nine times. Toward the end of the novena, I saw the Mother of God with the infant Jesus in her arms. I could not stop wondering at his beauty. I heard a few of the words that the Mother of God spoke. These words were, I am not only the Queen of Heaven, but also the Mother of Mercy and your Mother. These words echo in some way the words of Our Lady to St. Bridget of Sweden. I am the Queen of Heaven and the Mother of Mercy. I am the joy of the just and the door through which sinners are brought to God. Our Lady goes on speaking to this Benedictine monk. As for you, dear son of mine, persevere in praying to me, hold fast to my rosary, and beware of every ploy of the evil one to separate you from it. My rosary is your safeguard and your weapon in the fight against the forces of evil. Pray my rosary and teach others to do the same. I remember 35 years ago, that seems to be a topic in our Senate today, can you remember 35 years ago? But I remember 35 years ago, it was the night before I left for the seminary. I was sleeping in my home and I woke up and I felt as I have never felt before the presence of evil. It was scary. I always have my rosary on my nightstand. I still have my first communion beads. They were there. I grabbed them. I ran downstairs in our home and into our living room where we had a very large statue of Mary. I pulled up a chair and I began to pray the rosary. And by the time I finished, I didn't feel that presence of evil. I didn't fear, or I didn't feel fear or feel rattled. I felt peace and I went back to bed. But looking back at it years later, I thought, the last thing that little red legs wants is another priest. And there I was on the verge of embarking on that path. Our Lady's Rosary will give us strength and will give us peace. Secondly, Mary, Shrine of Mercy. I think St. Faustina so many times had an experience of the Trinity. She tries to describe it as you can imagine, all human words will fall short, but she made the attempt. And in one of these conversations with the Lord that's recorded in her diary, she gives us, I think, a little glimpse of the Trinity and her experience of the Trinity. She says, I asked Jesus whether the inscription, that is at the bottom of the image, could be Christ, King of Mercy. He answered, I am the King of Mercy, but he did not say Christ. He said, I desire that this image be displayed in public on the first Sunday after Easter. That Sunday is the Feast of Mercy. Through the word incarnate, I make known the bottomless depth of my mercy. And so you see, even the image of divine mercy is Trinitarian. We see Christ, we recognize Christ, we see his heart pierced and radiating, those rays of red and white, of blood and water, but it really is the Trinity that radiates its mercy to us. This Trinitarian love, then, enters the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we could say when that happens, our Lord earns his second name, mercy. As John Paul II points out to us, God has two names. His first name is love, 
and his second name is Mercy, and it is by that second name that we sinners know him, that we experience him. I want to say also that I believe that Mary is the object of God's mercy, but not because she was a sinner and needed his mercy, that's not true, but because when our Lord enters her, of course, she was sinless and so she had an experience of him before that, but when he enters, I can only imagine that it was very similar to the experience of St. Faustina experiencing the Trinity. She said so many times that if the Lord did not sustain her, she would have died of love. She would have passed from this world to complete union with the Holy Trinity. Hilary of Poitiers writes, Gabriel pronounces, Christ is received into the virgin's body. The womb swells because of the holy offspring. We are exhorted to believe in something new and never seen before, a child-bearing virgin. But I believe we are also called to believe in something else that is new, God's mercy. I suppose we could say it goes back to the Garden of Eden when our Lord says, where are you? His mercy began and was manifested then in the birth of our Lord in the womb of, our, of Mary. So we believe in this mercy, and that was his birth. But at his death, the mother's eyes of mercy look upon the son hanging on the cross. St. Ambrose writes, her son hung upon the cross. His mother offered herself to his persecutors. If she had been there for no other reason than to be slain before her son's cross, then she would deserve praise for her maternal affection, because of which she did not want to outlive her son. But if she wanted to die along with her son, it was because she looked forward to rising with him. Well did she know the mystery that she had given birth to one who was to rise. Moreover, she knew that her son's death would happen for the good of all. Thus, by her death, she hoped to add something to the common good. Mary had become herself mercy. She looks with eyes of mercy. We can only imagine that she looked with eyes of mercy around at all those who were standing at the foot of the cross, all those that saw her son's passion. St. John Paul II, writing in Dives in Misericordia, says, Mary is also the one who obtained mercy in a particular and exceptional way as no other person has. At the same time, still in an exceptional way, she made possible with the sacrifice of her heart, her own sharing in revealing God's mercy. This sacrifice is intimately linked with the cross of her son, at the foot of which she was to stand on Calvary. Her sacrifice is a unique sharing in the revelation of mercy, that is, a sharing in the absolute fidelity of God to his own love, to the covenant that he willed from eternity and that he entered into in time with man, with the people, with humanity. It is a sharing in that revelation that was definitively fulfilled through the cross. No one has experienced to the same degree as the mother of the crucified one, the mystery of his cross, the overwhelming encounter of divine transcendent justice with love, that kiss given by mercy to justice. No one has received into his heart as much as Mary did that mystery, that truly divine dimension of the redemption effected on Calvary by means of the death of the Son, together with the sacrifice of her maternal heart, together with her definitive fiat. Mary, then, is the one who has the deepest knowledge of the mystery of God's mercy. She knows its price. She knows how great it is. In this sense, we call her the Mother of Mercy, Our Lady of Mercy, or Mother of Divine Mercy. Third, Mary, Apostle, of mercy. We could certainly look to the events that surround Cana, 
And as the Second Vatican Council tells us, Mary took pity on those gathered there. She exercises, she's the apostle of mercy, but she also entrusts this message of mercy to us. She says to Saint Faustina and to us, you have to speak to the world about his great mercy and prepare the world for the second coming of him who will come, not as a merciful savior, but as a just judge. Oh, how terrible is that day. Determined is the day of justice, the day of divine wrath. The angels tremble before it. Speak to souls about this great mercy while it is still the time for obtaining mercy. And so each and every one of us petitioned by Our Lady, the Mother of Mercy, should be like her, an apostle of mercy, and bring this message with her to the world. Lastly and briefly, Mary, the merciful mother of our country. I don't think anyone seated here would say that our country does not need mercy, does not need prayers. In 2016, a prayer was composed and spread around the country to pray for the election. I believe there was an effect that resulted as we near also the midterm elections. I think we need to turn to our merciful mother that the outcome will be something that will help us to spread the message of mercy and bring us all to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ in our land. And so I'd like to share this prayer with you. O oh, most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, at this most critical time, we entrust the United States of America to your loving care. Most Holy Mother, we beg you to reclaim this land for the glory of your Son. Overwhelmed with the burden of the sins of our nation, we cry to you from the depths of our hearts and seek refuge in your motherly protection. Look down with mercy upon us and touch the hearts of our people. Open our minds to the great worth of human life and to the responsibilities that accompany human freedom. Free us from the falsehoods that lead to the evil of abortion and threaten the sanctity of family life. Grant our country the wisdom to proclaim that God's law is the foundation on which this nation was founded and that he alone is the true source of our cherished rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. O oh, merciful Mother, give us the courage to reject the culture of death and the strength to build a new culture of life. Amen. As we reflect on the mysteries of this rosary, let us greet this new day with hope for peace through the intercession of Mary, our mother. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and joy for all those gathered here in unity, for love of Mary, who always leads us to her son, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the Most Holy Rosary, we ask our Lord and Our Lady for the conversion of America so that it may fulfill its historic mission. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in America and in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Mary, our Mother, lead and guide negotiations for peace among nations and all peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the Catholic Church. May Our Lady grant it victory over her enemies, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In reparation for the countless sins which are committed daily against the most sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each one of us, may Our Lady give us discernment and strength to withstand the trials we face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our enemies, may Our Lady touch their hearts and convert them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us, when we fall, may Our Lady preserve us and bring us back to the path of righteousness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace to persevere in virtue, may Our Lady grant us constant progress in sanctification, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the dying, may Our Lady hasten to comfort them and grant them the final graces necessary for the salvation of their souls, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for an increase in the devotion of the family rosary, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Catholic Church, the community of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, the Lord of God. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Father God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, 
Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, Son, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, will, or without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To Thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To Thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, 
has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary, the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will now have a free will offering to help defray the expenses for the rosary rally and to support a future annual event. If you're going to make a check, please make it payable to All for the Glory of God Ministry, a ministry under the auspices of the Diocese of Colorado Springs. Proceeds will be used to support Holy Apostles, our hosts, the Divine Mercy Center of the Rockies, of which Father Michael is in charge and all for the glory of ministry along with the Diocese of Colorado Springs. Thank you. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. 
Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God that we, thy servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Virgin, may we be freed from present sorrow and rejoice in eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. The Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Amen. And now we renew our consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O oh Mary, Virgin most powerful and Mother of mercy, Queen of heaven and refuge of sinners, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to you our very being and our whole life, all that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To you we give our bodies, our hearts, and our souls. To you we give our homes, our families, our country. We desire that all that is in us and around us may belong to you and may share in the benefits of your motherly protection. And that this act of consecration may be truly efficacious and lasting. We renew this day at your feet the promises of our baptism and our First Holy Communion. 
we pledge ourselves to profess courageously and at all times the truths of our holy faith and to live as befits Catholics who are duly submissive to all the directions of the Pope and the bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves to keep the commandments of God and his church, in particular to keep holy the Lord's Day. We likewise pledge ourselves to make the consoling practices of the Catholic faith and above all, holy communion, an integral part of our lives in so far as we shall be able to do. Finally, we promise you, O glorious Mother of God, and loving Mother of men, to devote ourselves wholeheartedly to your service in order to hasten and assure through the sovereignty of your Immaculate Heart, the coming of the kingdom of the Sacred Heart of your adorable Son, and in our own hearts and in those of all men, in our country and in all the world, as in heaven, so on earth. Amen. I want to thank each of you for coming and sharing this special day to honor Mary, our mother, mother of mercy, and Jesus, divine mercy. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary continue to guide this diocese to great holiness and apostolic works. I'm especially grateful for our children and families who shared their faith in leading us in the rosary. Many thanks to all who helped plan and bring about this celebration. A special thanks to Bishop Sheridan, to Father Michael, and our clergy who bring us the bread of life. Today I'd like to invite you to a new appreciation of Mother Mary in the month of October by praying the rosary with scripture and music that tells the story of Jesus' life, ministry, death, and resurrection. All for the glory of God ministry has produced the Rose of Sharon scriptural rosary it's better than anything on the market, and it's half the price. And part of what we tried to do was we, we made each of the parts of Scripture have a different speaker so that it's like a panorama of a drama of Christ's life so that each part is made significant by each player in the Scriptures. And then we took and we matched the music to the mysteries, so that each mystery has a different song. I also have my friend Vicki Coleman's meditation CD music, volumes one through seven on sale for $5 each. For those of you who are familiar with Vicki's music, it's wonderful meditation music. Vicki currently is a consecrated virgin serving in Mexico. The scriptural rosary CDs will be on sale for $10 and for one and $15 for a set of two. And lastly, please come down to the parish hall for reception. We have multiple delicious desserts and drinks made especially with children in mind and the child in, in all of us. God bless all of you and thank you for coming and sharing this wonderful day. Hail Holy Queen, number 200. 200. Number 200, Hail Holy Queen. <laughs> 